Hi, she's Jan. He's Bob. And we're here to introduce Just the Good Bits. Good tips for life. Just the good bits. We're focusing on low carb. We do other things as well. We're experimenting with some new products. In fact, we're making pizza, low carb pizza. Sounds exciting if you can have a great carb, a great pizza and low carb, right? Jan's going to make the dough, and then I'm going to come back and put it together for us. And I'm going to turn it over to Jan to show you the dough. Hi. If you go to the quick carb, website. You'll see they have several pizza recipes. This is like this quick and it's more of a biscuit. As a matter of fact, it says complete biscuit and baking mix. The thing is, is that's not exactly a pizza crust. So, we're experimenting today with low carb flour, which is about 7 eighths of a cup. 100 grams is 19 carbs. But I don't want to make the whole dough out of this because I still think there's too many carbs. So I'm trying something new. This is the carb quick dough. And then here, this is the low carb flour, which turns a traditional. If you use the low carb flour, however, let me give you a little advice. Don't, if you are used to making bread, you want to give yourself double the rising time because there are not as many carbs for the yeast to eat, so it takes a lot longer to rise. Yeast, by the way, has no carbs. It's carb-free, so, but it likes to eat it, and so it makes it, I just found that out. We've been waiting for this to rise, this little bitty thing here, which should have risen about 35 hours, I mean 35 minutes, Excuse me, but it took about three hours. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to combine these two. And I just want to see if this flour, what I didn't mention, the quick carb has two, and these are net carbs we're talking about, two net carbs for each one-third cup. I put a one and a third cup of uh, quick carb, and it's just, you just put water with it. And I made what is like a traditional French bread dough, which has only water, yeast, and flour. So, and I used one cup of that. So, I'm going to knead them together, and we're going to see what we come up with. If we can come up with more of a traditional pizza dough, and if we do, that would be really good. We're out to try to make an um, entire pizza to have 43 carbs. You can divide it up in whatever way you want. But we're hoping that we're going to do it in this 16 inch pizza. Let's see if I can get it stretch out that. But it's work, it seems to. They're combining really well, so I'm real happy with that. And you notice I'm working on a marble, which anyone who makes bread knows that you like to keep things cool. And I, uh, what works really good here is the marble, you don't need to use as much flour. I'm not using any additional, any kind of flour. So I'm going to see how it rolls out. It seems to do it extremely well, actually. I'm real pleased. And we're going to get back with you when it's through because we don't want to take time for you to watch me roll. See this, unlike traditional, it is more, it, it's a little bit harder to roll it out, but it isn't impossible. And um, you can do it on a board. It's not, you don't have to have a granite. I said marble, it's granite. But um, the thing is, is that um, you can see the uh, biscuit dough does not have gluten, so you're not going to get this and the, putting them together. It's actually, I'm kind of excited to see how this pizza is going to turn out. So we're going to turn this back over to my honey bear. 
and let him finish it up for you. Okay. We're going to measure this out because we already counted the carbs. We're planning on using half a cup of sauce. So we're going to measure out a half a cup of sauce, spread that out, and build the pizza on from there. Now we got this stuff from a place called Nutritional. We researched and do the pricing on this. You can check it out. It's on other places. But this had the best price. Can you see the pizza? So far so good? Or do you need to change camera angle? Can't see it at all. So I've got cheese on there. The sauce on there. I was hoping you could see what I was doing, but uh, we had an operator. <laughs> operator Probably. error, sorry. I was watching it. <laughs> she was watching me, but not through the camera. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> All right. Pizza before it goes in. Does it show up good? Yes, it does. All right, here we go. And the timer for uh, 10 minutes to see, I guess. We'll see where it goes from there. And we'll be back shortly. Thank you. We're back. We came up with a total of 20 minutes. We timed it and looked at it as we went along. And uh, we're going to turn this up and pull it out. Let's see what we get. Hey, ha! Can you see that, camera operator? 43 car pizza. Ha! I think that's great. Looks good. Pepperoni pizza. Eight slices. Fold it like New York style. Hey, we got something going on, guys. Wait a minute. I'm not got you. Tasty. I've had better pizza, but not this car. This is great stuff for what I got here. Come on, baby, and join me for pizza. Mm. Told you. Good. Really good. It's good. 